guys, welcome back to We Make Stuff. So today's going to be a little bit different because I'm starting a new series called Freddy's After School Recipes. So in this series I will be cooking after school a recipe chosen by a mystery wheel. So I think it'll be really fun. To start off with for this week we need to go spin the wheel. <laughs> So on the wheel today we've got, um, as you can see, brownies, chocolate bombs, chocolate chip cookies, cupcakes, fruit salad, summer rolls and tuna stuffed potatoes. So those are all our options for today. Ooh. Which one did it land on? Cupcakes! Okay, so chocolate cupcakes. I think we can do that. Let's go to the kitchen. Okay, so I started by getting a large mixing bowl and adding 150 grams of self-raising flour, 50 grams of cocoa powder, and a pinch of salt. Then I got a new bowl that and added 200 grams of caster sugar, 100 grams of unsalted softened butter, and I mixed that. Okay, so I was actually using the whisk attachment. Not really sure if I was supposed to do that, although I mean, it worked, so does it really matter? <laughs> anyway, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to mix the sugar and the butter just to make a nice fluffy dough so then I can move on to the next step. Okay so as you can see my dough turned out like this, it's nice and fluffy so I think we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay so then I just pushed my mixer out the way so that we can move on to the next step. For the next step we're going to need 100 millilitres of milk, crack one egg into there, Look, I did a 100 quack, no shell. Then we're just going to put in a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. Pour it in. And then half a teaspoon of mint extract. Just like that. And pour it in. After that, we're just going to get a fork and mix it all together like so, until you get a nice, good, well mixed mixture that may look something like this. I think the egg yolk did kind of float to the top, although I don't think that really matters. You might have to give it a small little mix just to get it back mixed through, although then we can start adding it to our dough. Okay, so what we want to do now is we just want to turn that mixer back on and bit by bit add our milk mixture into it just to make it a bit more wet and then we can add the dry ingredients okay eventually once I've added it all it turned into this that I think is what we're going for it's nice and wet and it's gone a lot paler so now we can start adding the dry ingredients <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to give okay, the now I'm just gonna mix quick that all so it's all together, like so. and then we can get going Ooh, adding it combined. into our wet ingredients. Once it's all mixed through, you can just grab your bowl of dry ingredients and pour it all in, like so. And then we can put back on our whisk attachment and mix that in as well. Okay, so here you can see it's nice and mixed. It's turned a really delicious chocolatey colour. And I think it's time to move on to the last step. Adding chocolate chips. Let's go! Okay, so 
I've just got 100 grams of dark chocolate that I just crushed up and now I'm just putting it into my dough and giving that a good mix round. Okay, once you've mixed it all through, you can just start putting it into your cupcake cases. Like so, you just get two spoons, get a nice big spoonful, using the other spoon, just scrape it off into the cupcake cases. Here you can see all of them, they are all done, and it's time to put them into the oven. My oven's at 160 degrees. Open the oven and stick in that tray for 20 minutes. Okay, so I finished the cupcakes yesterday, it's now day two, and I'm back to do the icing. Here is my tin that I stored my cupcakes in once they were cool, and I'm just going to open it up and give you a little look at how my cupcakes look. Okay, so here they are. As you can see, there are some strange little white bits. I'm not entirely sure what that is. I think it might be flour because I didn't mix it properly. Although, there's nothing to worry about in that. Um, and there was a 13th one. I may have ate that. And I can tell you that they were delicious. So I can't wait to get started on the icing. Okay, so for the icing, I'm just going to be using 200 grams of 70% dark chocolate. Which I'm just going to melt in a pan now. Okay, so I just divided the chocolate into its squares and now I'm just melting it in a pan above some boiling water on my stove. Getting more and more melted until eventually it got very melted and then eventually it turned into a liquid. Like this, what we want. So now we're just going to leave it to cool for five minutes and move on to the next step. Okay, so I just got a, another little bowl and my next step was to mash the butter and the icing sugar together. So I grabbed 400 grams of icing sugar. It has to be in two bowls because there was so much of it. So that's 400 grams. And then after I'd done the icing sugar, I then went and got my 200 grams of butter that was supposed to be softened. It wasn't that soft that did not make my life that easy when it came to mashing these two things together. Although anyway, here is me trying to mash it together. Very unsuccessfully. Although eventually it did work out okay-ish and it became looking like this. So I decided I'd just add my melted chocolate because that chocolate had been sitting out for like 15 minutes cooling when it was only supposed to sit out for five minutes. So I was just like, let's just quickly get it in. Once I'd done that, I mixed it all together. Then I needed to add my cocoa powder. So that was just five tablespoons of cocoa powder. And then I also needed to add two tablespoons of milk. I did actually end up adding a bit more just because it was so solid, the icing. Then I got on to the final stage that was obviously piping the chocolate icing onto the chocolate cakes. So I ended up having to actually remove my metal nozzle because the icing was so thick that I just couldn't get it through. Basically you're supposed to actually use an electric mixer when you're mixing icing, although I didn't and I'm regretting not doing that, although the cakes tasted amazing, so I do recommend you trying them. So, thanks for watching. See you next Sunday, I guess. Here they are, you can see the finished product. Bye!